play video games. And, and Harry Potter, you get on their channel, they're in fantasy land. What's up, non-believers, doubters, and skeptics? Welcome back to the Jesus Unfollower YouTube channel. My name's Kevin Crow. Been dealing with a little bit of eye allergies over the last, I don't even know how long. Feels like it's been a month, but, well, it has been about a month. I don't know what caused it. I'm not sure. I think I have it narrowed down, but now I've got, my eyes are a little bit crusty. <laughs> but I'm back in the saddle making videos, baby. And today, I want to talk about video games. More specifically, how pastors have this weird obsession with people who play video games. Especially adult men who play video games. Now me, I love video games. I'm 38 and I love playing games. I don't play games as much as I used to, but I still like to play. And you might have an opinion that people of a certain age shouldn't play video games. But these people take it to another level. Now look, some of the people that I'm gonna talk about in this video are old news, okay? I understand that. I've been an atheist since 2009, and I became indifferent. I was indifferent toward religion for a decade. I didn't care if people believed. I didn't watch atheist videos. I didn't consume atheist articles or keep up with the blogs or anything like that. So I didn't know that atheist experience was a thing. I didn't know that the Friendly Atheist blog was a thing. I had no idea that any of this stuff existed because I was just plodding along in my life. And in 2019, I became more passionate, let's put it that way, about speaking out about religion. And I have this channel now. But a lot of the stuff that has resurfaced lately, like I'll see clips on TikTok, it's stuff that I've never seen before in all of my years as an atheist. So one might say that I am now blessed to see some of this stuff come to the surface. And lately, I've been seeing quite a few things about pastors speaking out against video games. I recently spoke on my podcast about Dale Massengale. And here's what Dale had to say. I have preached to this church the damage that video games and things like that create for your family and for your children. Have I preached that? Yet, yet we, we have adults that would not come and sit in church together, but they would go and, and stay half the night at somebody's house playing video games. And live, put their world, put their mind in a unrealistic world, a world of, uh, uh, that doesn't exist, uh, a world that, that is not real and they fantasize and it brings to their mind things that, that, that is not so, that is unrealistic and they can't face reality. They can't live in a real world. And the Bible talks about meditating on the things of God. We have lost that ability, Brother Keith. Amen, Brother Josh. We have lost the ability, amen, to meditate on spiritual things because our life has been so consumed by other things. Oh, sweet Dale. Sweet Dale who can't see the irony of talking about people who live in a fantasy land. While he also believes, you know, in Noah's Ark and read the book of Revelation and whatnot. Hey man, my wife don't go nowhere and let some slant-eyed Japanese man hold her feet and fix her toenails. That's racist. And apparently several years ago, there was this guy named Gene Lingerfeld who preached a sermon against video games, saying that people who play video games are losers possessed by a quote-unquote retarded spirit. I can't find the video anywhere. I guess it got deleted, but part of it says, if you have calluses on your thumbs, you're a loser. If you're more than 18 years old and you're still jacking around with that stuff and he makes the L sign on his head. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There are young gals in this church, beautiful, beautiful young gals. And you know why they can't get a date? Because that retarded spirit got onto young men. Amen. Some of you women, you have my permission, blame me. He come home, I'm talking about your husband, come home and that's gone. And don't just throw it in the trash. He'll go fish it out. You got to put it in the bathtub full of water before you throw it in the trash. Now, don't do that while it's plugged in. <laughs> These guys are boomers, first and foremost, and then they're pastors, and then they're probably family men. What is the problem with doing something that makes you happy? Of course, you want to do everything in moderation. But if you have a hobby that makes you happy, 
What's the problem? Oh, and here's a funny video I found of a pastor just raging. And I don't know if this is satire or not. I think it's serious, but enjoy. I, I beat Call of Duty, the, the, the newest one that came out. I beat it in three days. Loser! You're pathetic! You're a loser! Your life is a joke! You're worthless! Ping, ping, ball. Woo, woo. I was a single guy till I was 36 years old. I'm a man now. I wasn't a man in the past when I was playing video games. I sure wish some preacher would have told me. I sure wish some preacher would have ripped my hide off back when I was a teenager and explained the danger of what video games do to you. It just goes on and on. All you have to do is go to Facebook and type in the words video game demonic and do a search. See what comes up. Wait, I'll do it for you. Demonic game and cartoon. Video games demonic side, all mind control to Satanism. Video games destroy the serotonin. Beware of video games with demonic influences, especially that contains dragons. Watch out. Some video games can summon demonic spirits into your life. These people really think that Satan can come through the gaming console into our brain because of some video game that we're playing. That's crazy. It all comes back to parenting though. If you don't want your kids to play that game, then don't buy the game for them. And if you're an adult, play whatever the fuck you want to. My favorite video though is of preacher Matt Powell. He's a young lad who probably owns a console or two. My guess is that Matt has a little bit of trouble with the ladies and just making conversation and making friends in general. But he preached a sermon that said, this about atheists and video games. And, and you know what all these atheists have in common? You know, all of, they've been attacking us online. They put out a, a little two hour documentary trying to expose the one pastor and I put out and brother Brandon put out a two hour documentary. You know what all these atheists have in common? Video games. They all play video games. And, and Harry Potter, you get on their channel, they're in fantasy land. That's all they ever do. They can't think for themselves. They sit back and they drink Coke all day and sit behind a video game system and then wonder why, oh, you're, oh, you're crazy, Brother Powell, for believing in a creator. Oh, you're insane. No, you're crazy. And you need to get off the video game system and somebody needs to preach to them the gospel of Jesus Christ and so that it can be saved. That's what we need. And I'm sick and tired of these stinking video games. Messing with people. Now, if there are three things that the Bible preaches against, they are video games, Coca-Cola and Harry Potter. Look, even when I was a Christian, I thought this line of thinking was kind of bullshit. Now, if people have their personal convictions and they don't want to play games, fine. If you don't want to play violent games, if you don't want to play games that have cussing or law breaking or whatever, that's fine. If you have problems separating the two, it blows my mind a little bit because when I was a Christian, I could live for Christ, you know, glorify God, worship God, read the Bible, live by the Bible, and still play Resident Evil, knowing that it's just a fictional game, whatever, play Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, you're killing people in the streets, but you're not really killing people. It's just fun. It's just a stress reliever. Now, did I do some other extreme things, like have my friend put a passcode on my Dish Network so I couldn't watch some of the more mature rated programs? Yes, I did. Oh, Christian Kevin. I'm fascinated by this topic, so if you know of any more crazy videos or sermons or whatever against video games, drop it down in the comments. Also, I started a Discord, so check the link in the description. Thank you to my patrons, my top patrons, Anthony Guthrie and John Levin. I'll see you in the next video, and maybe my eyes won't be quite so crusty. <laughs>